Okay, so by now you have everything installed. You've got Python installed, you have virtual environment. If you don't have those things installed and you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go and check out our YouTube channel. That is joincfe.com slash YouTube and look for the system setup links. Um, this URL right here will actually redirect you to our YouTube channel. Um, so look for the system setup and then make sure you do that. If you haven't done that, stop now, go do it. Otherwise, for the rest of us that have done it, let's go ahead and continue on. All we're gonna be doing in this one is actually starting a Django project and we're gonna be using version 1.8. We're gonna be using 1.8 for the duration of this tutorial. So the try Django 1.8, that's what we're doing. Um, and the version differences are so minor, especially for beginners. It really doesn't make that much of a difference if you are working in Django 1.8 or you're working in Django 1.6. There are some big differences, but for the most part, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are actually learning this and depending on what version's out and all that. So, uh, but for us, we're gonna be working in 1.8. So if you want to follow along with the videos, I do recommend that you use 1.8 as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so Mac and Linux users, if you hit Command K or Control K, it will actually clear out the screen like I did there. Um, and anyways, let's go ahead and get into the desktop. So I'm going to list everything out. I'm going to CD into desktop and I'm going to create a virtual environment folder here. As you notice, I already have a lot of other files and folders in here uh, as it stands right now. So listing everything out shows me that, but if I change back and I list everything out again, I see that I have a Dropbox folder here. I have a Google drive folder. Um, so these are cloud folders that I can use as well to sync my code to other computers if I want to. Um, and you have free reign to completely do that. It's completely up to you uh, as to where you want to put this code. But I'm going to put it in the desktop because that's the easiest for me. So I'm going to change into jmitch, which is my username, and then desktop. And then I'll list everything out again. And now I'll start a new virtual environment, so virtual env. And then I can give that virtual environment a new name. So if I did try Django 1.8, that would stand for try Django 1.8, right? That makes sense as far as the name is concerned. But let's say for instance, I already have a folder that I wanna work with. So let's just make a folder or make a directory, same thing, folder and directory is the same. I'll go make dir try Django 1.8. So this is just making a folder using the command prompt, uh, or the terminal. So if I hide these windows, I'm just gonna hide them real quick and show you that a brand new folder actually was created when I did this. All right, cool. Very simple little thing. If I change into it with CD and then I do CD try Django and then 1.8, I'm now in that folder. So if I list everything out, I'll see that. If I do PWD, this gives me the path uh, to where this folder is on the computer. Uh, if you're in Windows, it's DIR. It'll show you a very similar path, just a little different. Um, so now that we've got this, uh, we have this folder and we want to create a virtual environment in it. So I can just do virtual env and then just hit period. And that's going to create it within this folder. So I hit enter and this is creating my virtual environment inside of this try Django folder, try Django 1.8. And then if I do, if I list everything out and I activate the virtual environment, it, activating is a little different on Windows and Mac. So keep that in mind. Uh, but I activate it and now gives me this parentheses with try Django 18 inside of there. And that all that stands for is the name of the folder where the virtual environment resides. So now we have this virtual environment and I do pip freeze. I can see that there might be just this one thing installed or there might not be anything in there. Um, if there's nothing in there, it's okay. Um, but if I do pip freeze on my normal computer, so I just opened up a new terminal. I see a whole lot of other things that is actually installed in here. Um, so that's the difference. It's what virtual environments do is it allows us to separate our project, our Django project, all the code, all the version stuff from our computer. And it also allows us to do that when we sync it elsewhere. So if I had this virtual environment inside of Dropbox, for example, and I opened the same virtual environment folder in a different computer, let's say my laptop, then I would be able to actually run this project the exact same way. So the development environment would be more or less the same um, from computer to computer. Now, of course, that's not always true, but for the most part, it will be. Okay, so now that we've got that understood, let's just go ahead and start installing Django. So I'll do pip install, 
And I want to do Django 1.6. So I'm going to go, or excuse me, 1.8. So I'm going to go into download here. And this is the version I'm going to be getting. So 1.8, there's no point anything else. So just Django 1.8. So I can copy that whole thing or just do pip install Django. That's going to give me, just pip install Django will give me the latest version of Django. If I do equals equals 1.8, this is going to give me version 1.8. Um, and then of course, if there is version 1.8.1, .1, you would just put 0.1 towards the end of this right here. Um, so that's all we have to do as far as installing Django itself. So now Django is installed and we can test that by doing pip freeze. And we see Django 1.8 is here. So now we can actually start our Django project and just do Django-admin.py and we'll do start project. And this is going to be our new Django project. I'll just call it try Django and 18, hit enter. And this is now we have our Django project in here. Notice that I have a Django project and the virtual environment. They have the exact same name. So that might get a little bit confusing for us new beginners, right? So try Django, the virtual environment, and then try Django 18. It's like, what folder am I actually in? So instead of actually keeping try Django 18, I'm going to go ahead and just open up this folder here. And right off the bat, I'm going to change this to being SRC. So SRC standing for source. So that's just showing us that if we list everything else out now, we now have four folders in here, three of which have to do with the virtual environment and SRC stands for source. So the source code of our project. So now let's go ahead and change into SRC. We list everything out. This is the root of our project. So if we just do python manage.py run server, this is emulating a Django server. It's giving us an error, which is okay. We don't need to worry about that quite yet, uh, but I can actually copy this URL here and go into Chrome and press enter. And congratulations, you have created your first Django powered page. Fairly easy to do, fairly straightforward. Hopefully you've already done this before, but um, it is something that you will do quite a bit if you make a lot of different Django projects. So it is a good thing to repeat it every once in a while. Um, so we're going to stop now. And then in the next one, we'll start setting this up a little bit more. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.